Okay, so I'm going to show you how I shaded this blade from the Bad Lion Sword. So I got this color right here. This is uh, going to be not too saturated of color, but still somewhat saturated. So, uh, yeah, you don't want it to be something like this, for example. This is way too saturated. You don't want it to be too light colored like this, because that won't work. You want something that's kind of... You want to turn down your S and your V sliders just a bit. The S slider, I have it around 60 or 70, and then the V slider, I have it around uh, 80 or 90. So, yeah. So once you have a color like that, I just select the blade and then go to a new layer go to selection outline selection and then I'm gonna do a outline of width 3 now this is a 256x canvas so I'm doing 3 but if this was a 512 I would do like a 5 or 6 thickness maybe even 7 depending on how thick the blade is so I'm going to just remove that part just for now so it looks better. Actually, I think I'll remove all of this right here. Just tilt there. And I'll show you why in a bit. So now I'm going to select the entire thing and then deselect that outline. Then go to the next layer. And then do another outline. But this time I'm only going to do two thickness. And... What I'm going to do here is that I'm just going to leave this part not connected. And it'll it'll look pretty good in the end. Now I'm going to do another layer. to do another outline of thickness 2. Then I'm going to deselect. And now I'm going to actually start like shading. So this first outline layer, this one right here, I'm going to select it, change the blending mode to overlay. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer so now you can see it's super dark and blue. I'm going to take this second duplicate layer and change that blending method to multiply and then decrease the opacity of that until it looks something like this. You want it to be like somewhat hue shifted but not incredibly saturated or dark. This inline right here, this layer, I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay, and I think I'll just leave it like that, honestly. Then the next layer, which is this third outline, this is going to be the bevel. I'm going to change it to overlay, and then I'm going to decrease the opacity just a bit, so that it's a bit less than the inline. Now I'm going to select this whole thing. I'm going to get my black and white pencil. I'm going to make about half of the half of the bevel black and half of it white. I'm going to make just a bit more of it white than black. So just like that, you can see it's a bit more white at the top and then half black, half white at the bottom. Now I'm going to select just the white part. I'm going to get a really large brush size turn anti-aliasing on, and then, uh, yeah, by the way, this is a 256x canvas, and uh, because of that, I'm using a 50 brush size, so it's quite big. Then I'm just going to, like, very lightly rub my eraser onto the very edge of this selection, so that it fades out that at the top. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing at the bottom. Now because this is the light bevel, I generally like to do a little bit of extra fading out somewhere in the middle, just like that, so it looks a bit more natural. Now I'm going to select the dark part of the bevel, take my eraser tool, and do the exact same thing. So I'm just going to lightly rub it until it's faded out, maybe a little bit more. There we go. and then. Uh, on the dark side, I usually, let me fade this first, 
On the dark side, I usually fade it a little bit at the top, just a bit more, and leave it a little bit darker at the bottom. So once that's done, uh, this is basically a good amount of blade shading, but I'm going to do a bit more. So I'm going to turn anti-aliasing back off, turn my brush sides down. I'm going to draw a guideline. Now I usually always have this like on my canvas readily available, but I didn't draw it yet, so I'm just going to draw it now. This is just a guideline on a new layer, which makes it easy to make selections. So I'm going to select this entire blade, then I'm going to deselect half of it. So I'm only getting half of the blade, and this is the right half. I'm going to go to a new layer, make that layer, make that selection black, and then I'm going to turn this layer to overlay, change the opacity of that until it looks somewhat like that. I think that looks good. After that, I'm going to go to select the entire blade again, just like that, go to a new layer, and with the gradient tool and black and white, just go to gradient from left to right. Just like that. I'm going to turn that layer to overlay as well. I'm going to turn down the opacity so that doesn't get too saturated. I think that looks good. And then one last time, I'm going to select this entire blade, go to a new layer, get my gradient. This time I'm going to have it mirrored, linear reflected. I'm going to do something that looks like this, and it should look pretty good. So I turn it to overlay, decrease the opacity, and there we go. That is basically how I do my blades. As you can see, it looks really similar to the one I just made. Almost exactly identical, actually. That's pretty funny. So, uh, yeah, that's basically how I make my blades. This uh, .pdn will be in the description if you want to go check it out. And, uh, yeah, see ya.